Judith Delgado. Hi, I'm Amaya Jamie. And I'm Brianna Garcia. And we are here today to talk to you guys um, about how vermicomposting can make the world more sustainable. Let me begin by asking a quest question. How many of you guys throw away the food that you don't eat into trash? A lot of us do, right? Well, food waste is actually a major environmental problem in America. Did you know that approximately 40% of all food produced in America ends up in landfills? That's about 35 million tons of food waste each year. That would be like throwing away about 28 trillion average-sized bananas or 23 trillion average-sized oranges. That's a lot of food that ends up in landfills. However, it's not just the food that is being thrown away. It, it, it also is the f resources needed to grow and transport that food. It is the water, the energy, the land, and the money that goes into producing food that we so easily throw away. In fact, it is estimated that we throw away about $165 billion worth of food each year and about 25% of our fresh waters. Not only are we wasting tons of food and using a massive amount of resources, but also when food decomposes in landfills, it releases methane gas. An estimated 23% of U.S. methane gas emissions are from the decomposition of food waste. What's alarming about that is that methane gas is a greenhouse gas. Methane gas has, has a heating potential that is more than 20 times greater than carbon dioxide. Consequently, it is a major contributor to the negative impacts in climate change. In other words, methane gas causes the earth to heat up much more than carbon dioxide. And that heat is a contributing to things like melting polar ice caps, which means those, polar, those poor polar bears are <laughs> being left with no homes. Without a doubt, food waste is a major problem for the environment. But what can we do about it? Well, we can vermicompost. What is vermicomposting? Vermicomposting basically uses worms to turn organic waste into a natural fertilizer called worm castings. Some of you might be thinking why we choose vermicomposting and not the more traditional thermophilic composting. Well, studies show that vermicompost has more nutrients, results in greater productivity, helps plants develop greater resistance to pests and disease, and it also takes much less time for vermicompost compared to traditional compost. At La Dera Vista Junior High, we have been using the vermicomposting process to reduce the waste of about 950 students for over a year. What we do is we collect the food students still eat in green cans. Green cans like the one on the picture there. The green cans are just for food waste and placed next to the trash cans and recycled bins on campus. At the end of every lunch, we take the food that has been collected in the green cans and feed it to our earthworms. The worms live in large worm bins called biosafes. The biosafes seen on the picture have two drawers and each drawer has a catch tray to collect worm castings. Each drawer of worms is fed one to two times per week. The worms are given several days to eat the food and turn in it into worm castings. We then collect the worm castings and use them as natural soil fertilizers for the three gardens on campus. Lastly, any garden waste is given to worms. Thus, as the image shows, we have a closed loop system that recycles nutrients. We go from food waste to vermicompost to the garden and back through the system. So far, by using the system, we have been able to divert about 26 kilograms of food per month, which is about 61 pounds, and we have been able to produce 4.5 kilograms of worm castings per month, which is about 10 pounds of worm castings. Imagine if every school in California did vermicomposting. That would be a lot of food waste to keep out of the landfills. What are the benefits of vermicomposting and why we do it at La Dera Vista? First, let me talk to you about why we do it and how it benefits the school garden. One of the benefits is nutrient cycling. Nutrients go from the food to the worm castings to the garden and back to the food again. Vermicomposting also increases productivity. Research shows that vermicomposting helps increase crop growth and overall yields. Another benefit is that it reduces crop damage from pest and disease. Vermicomposting helps increase crop growth without any resistance in the pest or it helps increase the resistance in pests and for the plants. And it also um, helps them develop natural defenses against disease. It also improves soil fertility, which increases the capacity of soil to, to provide plants nutrients needed for growth. 
What's more is that I reduce school costs for school gardens. Schools don't have to pay for fertilizers anymore when they have vermicomposting. Here's a close-up of our school garden at Litera Vista. I just want to show you how beautiful and healthy it looks with the help of worm castings. Now here are some of the global benefits. One of the global benefits is that it reduces methane emissions from, it reduces methane emissions to help the world more sustainable and it helps it not create so much methane emissions in the gas. Another benefit is that it improves water efficiency. What plants don't need to use, plants don't need water anymore when they have vermicomposting. Lastly, it reduces the loss of valuable resources. Vermicomposting does not, vermicomposting does not need any, Lastly, vermicomposting reduces the loss of valuable resources. It takes enormous amounts of water, energy, land, and money to produce the food that ends up in landfills. By turning food waste into worm castings, we are saving many of these precious resources. Um, we hope you enjoyed our presentation on making the world more sustainable through vermicomposting, and we hope we will see soon vermicomposting bins at your school. Thanks. Uh -oh.